I am Chalfont and this is Chalfont TV. What's up everybody, I'm Chalfont and welcome to Chalfont TV. Go ahead and crush that like button for this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications so that you're alerted to when new videos come out. So we've been diving deep into some of the history of BTS, both through documentaries and through some of their hardships and even watching the mistreatment of BTS and then going through the ciphers and some of their other songs as well. And today I'm gonna be watching a documentary called Who is BTS? The Seven Members of Bangtan. And if you follow my other channel, Brothers From Another Color, you'll know that this was like one of the first videos I ever watched and reacted to about BTS. And like a few other videos, there were so many things that were included in these videos. And because I didn't know the members, I had no way to attach this to anything. Stay with me during this video because there is a ton of information in this video that I didn't realize I had already known. Some information that I had even included in most recent reactions like 4 o'clock and Cypher 3 and I'm just trying to fill my head with everything BTS. Also, don't forget about the two deals that are exclusive to this channel, free trial of Amazon Prime and a free trial of Audible Plus. Both are 30 days, you can cancel at any time. If you sign up, I get $5. Links are in the description below. Let's go ahead and get into it. Already another good reason to watch these or even rewatch these is because it highlights music that I haven't even listened to yet and continues to get me excited to listen to more. A lower pillow to the every people all around the world that shine the love and light on us by the millions and make this history One of the cypher performances I remember. That's why I'm above ground. I'm not pop, I'm not rock, I'm not funk, I'm not R and B or hip hop. I cheat up more, cheat up more than an adult jump with a pot of kids. I get him in a bitch, get him in a wrist. Have any added on the son of a beach? I'm also trying to be not my chance on a beat. Not a grammar, so son of a bitch. Give me that. This for me is one of the most surprising things about RM is like his ability to sing and rap as well, but then also to sound like that and just come in so fast and so hard. I believe that real change lies in the mirror Since I was a little one I was supposed to get my shot I got their hands up on me like I definitely don't remember seeing this from the first time that I watched it because I was surprised when people would comment and talk about all the collaborations that he had and I was like, I didn't know any of those things. But I was told the very first time I watched it. Yes, I, I tell myself. Actually, my English teacher was a sitcom, Friends. Oh, you watched Friends? Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It also explains why he was sitting up front with uh, James Corden on a BTS carpool. If you're interested in seeing my reaction to it, check out my Patreon page for free. See, those are the things that I always assumed. I always, I want to see and know how they solve their conflicts. Because we've heard about some, we've heard about Dumpling Incident and some of the other ones, but it's good to actually be able to see in this video that he's the one who takes initiative on a, a lot of that, and I didn't know that before. <laughs> And I've been recently seeing that in uh, some of their performances and found out it's like a Korean heart. And if I'm wrong, you can comment below, but I also didn't know that I saw this, you know, from the very start. I heard that, you know, that was like so, it was so hot in, in Vegas, it was like 30, 35 Celsius. But, you know, I've heard that, you know, you guys were waiting for the Magenta Carta, like, like, from the morning. I mean, like, from the dawn, like, 5 a.m. I, I cannot imagine that. Are you okay? Like, thank you so much, like, for everything, for the BBMA, you know. Like, Are you okay? Like, 500, like, iTunes, US, you know, you can try it. Thank you. And I didn't think it was till way later on that I began to realize just how much they communicate with ARMY and how they always put ARMY at the forefront of everything that they do. I mean, as they should. I think artists and people who are famous should be doing that, but it's something that they purposely do and it just keeps us there and keeps us hooked. <laughs> he makes it so awkward for the other people, but I, I, I think he thrives in that. I mean, we also know how hard he is on himself and how hard he works, but it, it's just hilarious when he says that and everybody else is like, it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the things that stood out from this video from the beginning was uh, him pulling the heart out and I haven't seen it since but it always stood out. <laughs> I 
J-Hope's trying not to laugh. Suga can ride a beat so hard. I, I mean, he's somebody who doesn't even need to beat. You know, I think we all know that. I feel like the only piece that somebody still new to BTS that's missing from this video is just the names of the songs that are up there. I know copyright will tell me where those songs are and that'll be helpful, but you know, if anybody does know as you're watching this, maybe comment below and let me know the names of the songs so I can put them on the list. I think a lot of us can relate to that. Even those of us who wouldn't identify as being introverted. I think there are times we want to be alone. And I'm somebody sleeping food, like I don't want anybody messing with that. So, I got you, sugar. I don't think I knew he could play the piano. Can you imagine one a day? And RM seems so great to put others on that pedestal and not himself. And that's, you know, obviously one of those great qualities of being a leader is I think it's great to for me to be able to create one song a month. And he's like, and then Sugar three days ago was like, yeah, I do probably one a day. And they're all like, I feel like this is one of the reasons I'm so drawn to Suga. I don't, I don't remember knowing this about him, but I felt like his demeanor and his ability to just go all in and within the rap line really struck me as having connections with me in terms of growing up poor and just having so many hardships and just 
now being on that other side of having made it. You know, I'm now an elementary school leader, but when I was younger or even growing up, I don't think anybody would have ever thought that I would have been able to do those things or be on the side of where I am now of having, you know, made it. While also being young too, that's the other piece. It highlights those issues with mental health, not just from a perspective from a community standpoint, depending on the community you live in. Lots of communities aren't supportive of it. And he's also describing here, you know, his continual or even purposeful, like, masking of that. Like, I don't have a habit. I don't need that. You know, I'm stronger than that. I can get through that. But he's also admitting it that those are the ways in which he hides himself. And in some ways, that's his strength. You know, that's, that's probably why people also describe him as so hard. I knew after watching this video, there was a perception about him being, you know, hard and cold and a savage and then realizing quickly that, you know, not just that the video is somewhat outdated at this point, but there's so much to Suga outside of that. And he offers so much too. He's a mood setter, mood maker. I just learned that in a recent video and didn't realize that I was told that from the very beginning. Another reason why it's important to watch these videos sometimes that I didn't know that he, well obviously I knew he could dance and he's just, he seems so loose and free like a, I mean like, I guess like a true freestyle dancer. And to see that he learns those dances first and then teaches others that just speaks to not only his ability to dance but also like the ability to internalize those things and then teach others and to be a choreographer in some ways too. That's hilarious. <laughs> He's playing with his nose. Isn't that so funny though? Or even so true? I think there are friends who bring that out of us and it's great to be able to see that. Especially two of the three of the rap line when they're together. You get to see that other side of Suga, I guess. Also reminds me of working with my best friend at KFC Taco Bell Pizza when we were, I think, 16. There's reasons that you shouldn't be working with your friends, but it was a lot of fun. Okay? You look so happy. 
Why why are you keep it? Uh, 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 oh, oh my god, my, my heart is my heart is oh my god. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. We got no chance, you know. I bet at first that's hard to deal with, but it's probably what makes them so much stronger is his focus and determination that everybody's going to learn it. I bet some of it is, you know, sometimes you have that inability, it's not empathy, but to understand like, why aren't you getting this? Why aren't you getting this? But also knowing that there are people like Jin who's like, I need extra work and I'm going to stay up later, or even wake up a lot earlier than everyone else to be able to learn this stuff. Details also matter, you know? I'm gonna get into J Hope for his birthday, so stay tuned. And then Sugar, too. Funny how accidents happen like that. You also imagine through a two and a half or three hour performance, things like that are gonna happen. I know it's great for them to be on V Live and communicate with Army as much as they do, but when you have somebody who 
performs at such a high level, especially somebody with a voice like Jimin, describe his goals and aspirations? Where we would probably already describe, he already has that, you know? I, I think that's probably inspiring for a lot of people to see. You can see he felt that. So if you're new to my channel, I did quite a few videos of Tay when I started because it was his birthday and there's a lot to get through. And there was also some information that I've learned that is contrast to what they're saying here that he's the son of farmers. You know, others, especially those people who've commented or watched my videos who are from South Korea, have said that his parents are not farmers, that his parents are business people that work in the city. He lived, you know, with his grandmother on a farm and his grandparents were farmers, but his parents weren't actually farmers. If you know, let me know in the comments. Take up. Do you think they're gonna have a song together in their next mix tape? Hopefully. I also didn't think I knew this about Tay until I recently watched it, so one of many more reasons to rewatch videos. And that they were born in the same year, I didn't know that. I'm only pausing and looking like that because I found this video and included it in, in one of the Cypher reactions. And now realizing from like day one, I, I was already told this. Another, another reason to rewatch these videos. And these are all things that I included in the four o'clock reaction as well. And I had never thought I saw it before. It's amazing. Uh, 
And that he likes photography, Vante. What song is this? Is that Friend? I haven't listened to it yet. Nineteen ninety seven. Wow. So I've heard that phrase recently, Macne. I hope I'm saying it right. And then Golden Macne. And just wondering when I would begin to understand what that was. I was like, oh. It'll come up in a video at some point. But never did I think I'd rewatch one of the original videos that I watch and it tells me it right there. Look at his face. <laughs> Jim, blaming Jim. Hey, Link apart?
Was that when they first started their Twitter? I get goosebumps seeing that. Way bigger than that now. That's really a great video. And honestly, I'm just blown away by the amount of information that was included in the video that I thought I just discovered literally like just a few weeks ago when I was reacting to some of the either songs that were up there or learning more about V. It's just crazy to think about. Like I was told that such a long time ago, but it's hard, you know. I, I know a lot of these documentaries are created for new army not even baby army at that point but if you're still with me and you're still watching and you are potentially somebody who's new i would recommend for sure re-watching videos after you learn more about the members and getting to know them because i just learned all of that and months and months after i had first heard it so if you're still with me go ahead and crush that like button for this video subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so that you're alerted to when new videos come out thanks for joining me i am Shalfont, and this is Shalfont tv and as Jimin says, you nice, keep going.